Hello Sagittarius, Marianne here from Revealing Light Tarot, Astrology and Spirituality. How are we all, wherever you are? When you're watching Sagittarius, a huge shout out to you. I'm going to look at your 2023. Um, it's a bit different from my usual monthly tarot scopes. We'll be diving a little bit deeper. It is for your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign. Uh, it's a general reading, uh, so um, bear that in mind when you're watching. It won't resonate with everybody. But I hope uh, that those that are watching get something out of it. We'll be looking at a Celtic cross uh, and then drilling down quarter quarterly um, four cards, January to March, April to June. July to September, October to December. Then we'll be drawing some uh, healing, um, healing oracle messages for you, and then finally some general oracle messages uh, for you. So let's tune in um, a little bit for you, Sagittarius, clairvoyantly, um, and see what might be coming up in this reading. Sagittarius. Ah, yes. Opportunities to relax will be coming up. I think rest is there. I think the pace will be a little bit easier for you in 2023 uh, than it was in 2022. It seems like a vibing, chilling type of theme coming through. I've just done a reading for Virgo and it wasn't like this. So let's take a look. What else is there? What are the main themes? Come, Yeah, family, spending time with family. I'm seeing families around a huge table. Um, perhaps some trips away, perhaps some downtime, perhaps, uh, you know, if 2022 was full on for you, 2023 is simplified. Uh, that seems to be a theme um, of 2023, not as intense as 2022, where we move um, maybe from in the collective, if we're moving from really letting go what things, you know, that's what change teaches us. It teaches us to let go, let go and let flow, as I like to say. And, you know, you're all there. Uh, if we're going to um, let flow, because when we move into uh, more into that relaxed kind of chilled vibe, that's when Sagittarius is able to come out and play. I think there's going to be more opportunities for that in 2023. What do I need to bring forward? Um, yeah, again, the Ace of Cups. I think for us all, there's going to be a level of emotional reset here. What else do I need? Ah, oh, yeah, the sun is coming up. That's 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 beautiful. Uh, Leo energy, joy, happiness, happy occasions. Just doesn't feel as heavy as 2022 did. All right, uh, what do I need to... Yeah, there's a gift. There's a gift you'll be getting in 2023. What is this gift? Could be the gift of a child, the gift of, I don't know, new starts, perhaps a dream comes true, a wish that you've had for a long time actually does materialise. Yeah, it's a wish that you've had for a while actually uh, does materialise and kind of it's it's one you've had uh you know it's like a lifetime wish whether you know it or whether you don't um and that is actually going to actualize for you in 2023 and it's such a major major beneficial event that it imbues the whole year with a specialness i think 2023 is a year for you to remember for all the right reasons and not the wrong ones. All right, let's pull a Celtic cross, um, Sagittarius, and see what the main themes are. I'm using my Lumna Somna, Luna Somna uh, Tarot as the Celtic cross, and then the Spellcasters, Mystical Shaman Oracle, and the Shamanic Healing Oracle. So the so Lunar Somner is the first deck I'll be using. All right. 
main themes please main themes yeah there's definitely a celebration occurring i like to see that someone's pouring champagne show me please show me please what is coming up for sagittarius show me please what is coming up for sagittarius you know there's been some spilt cups in 2023 for sure some losses some regrets some unhappiness but i feel that's in the past for you sagittarius what are the main themes for sagittarius in 2023 First card out is the Queen of Pentacles. Uh, some of you, the breadwinners, some of you still working hard, some of you, the homemakers, making sure everybody's got everything that they need. Uh, you'll be doing more of that in 2023. We've got the Four of Wands, home and family, home and family and celebrations, births, marriages. It's all there. It's, it's a year that centers around happiness and, and getting together with family and the home. It's like it's like the somber, somberness leaves you and you start to have that beautiful optimistic part of your nature comes to the fore. Oh, I'm, I'm breathing a sigh of relief here for you. King of Wands is at the foundation of the reading. You will be taking charge a lot more in 2023 than what you perhaps have done in the previous years. Events or something spotlights you and puts you in charge uh, and you lead the way. You lead the way. You become, um, you become the courageous leader that everybody looks to, um, to, to lead the way forward in 2023. Uh, the Eight of Wands in the past, yeah, events have come in very quickly for you over the years, over the last year or over the recent past. Uh, you could have heard, had a lot of communications come in uh, in the recent past in December. Um, it's a lot of... Uh, it's it's things that make that inspire you and you take that energy into january we've got the lovers in the sky yeah it's it's all about love in 2023 uh, the potential of love the potential um of love to heal i'm just getting to heal the heart sagittarius in the immediate future <laughs> Knight of uh, Swords. So we've got here um, a very quick moving a knight coming through its air energy. Could even be Libra energy, Aquarius energy. It's like um, it's not. It's like clarity. It's like you get this new level of clarity. The the knight has the Ace of Swords. Gemini uh, energy as well. Uh, commute, you're going to be communication, co communicating a lot in that first quarter with various people, perhaps people you didn't think you would be communicating with. Um, events are going to move very, very quickly. Now we have here um, in the here and now, as we close down 2022, you're thinking about ending something. You're thinking about... Um, bringing something to a close whether that's an old energy an old cycle uh, and the six of wands you've you've already done it that's why your cards are so positive in 2023 because you've got the victory card six of wands your energy you successfully brought something to a close i'm just getting uh the claire audience audience that it was a lifelong struggle for you that you overcame you changed oh gosh this is powerful Sagittarius it's like you changed it's like you changed karma you changed a timeline um perhaps to do with uh relationships around you this is not just in 2022 this is like the last decade this is a huge 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 victory Queen of Swords in the hopes and fears it'll be a year where you have to plan, where you will be called upon 
to plan for others. People are going to be relying on you. Now we have the Knight of Wands. I thought that might come up. I thought actually the Knight of Swords was the Knight of Wands. I had to look twice because I had a feeling that you're on the move in 2023 with projects, with plans. Literally, you could be on the move, leading the way. Five of Swords are clarifying that what has slowed you down in the past is gone. It's like she's putting the sword down in this deck and knowing that she's had to do this in order to get that forward momentum. We've got the King of Pentacles. That's Earth Energy, Business, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn Energy and the Seven of Swords. Okay, so whatever was, um, I just feel there's a new wisdom um coming through for you embodied in that king of pentacles it's like it's you're finished with an old cycle and you're on the move to a new one four of pentacles um again changing lifelong habits underneath the the pack the underlying energy is this justice card justice is yours what was given what was taken away is given back. And you know what was, what's been given back? Hope, the star card. You should check out Virgo's reading. Um, it's If you've got any Virgo in your chart. We've got the Ace of Swords, this beautiful clarity and truth. And we have the High Priestess, uh, something being revealed to you. And you know what I think is being revealed? The Emperor card. Uh, you're the Emperor. You're your own Emperor emperor it's like you achieved enough wisdom to take control of your own life and set your own course uh, but not only just for you but for others as well so we have here the hermit card Virgo energy uh, is pretty prominent in this reading the hermit card um, introspection reflection I just feel you've decided you made the decision, you finished that cycle. Now it's time you're moving into your own fire energy. Nobody's holding you back anymore. All right, as if they ever did really to begin with, but uh, the person that holds you back is you. All right, let's drill down with four cards um, and I'll use the Lunar Somner as the base cards. And uh, then I'll clarify with the spell casters. We're going to take four quarters. Four quarters, please. Four quarters. Four quarters, please. Spirit, January. January to March. April to June. July to September. October to December. Four cards, please. For 2023. Sagittarius 2023. The four quarters of the year. Four cards, please. Spirit. Sagittarius in 2023. Sagittarius in 2023. Four cards, please, for the four quarters of the year. Sagittarius in 2023. Yeah, I'm getting the three of wands, so I do feel that there could even be a move. Some of you could even travel overseas. Um, big things are happening for you. Big move, movement is, is the underlying theme. Letting go of something in 2023 and getting your wish, getting the wish that uh, you want, that you've wanted for a long time. Uh, it just, it's like it's all systems go for you. All right, let's uh, pull the laptop down. Uh, first quarter. We have the King of Pentacles, um, January to March. The focus is on stabilising finances uh, in that first quarter. The second quarter is the Nine of Wands. You could, have been, you could be working hard in that first quarter and now you need, to, um, you need to slow down. You need to be able to say no. You've got this huge role, I feel, in, within your family and you need to put the boundaries up so you can take a rest now we have here July to September, we have here the Knight of Cups, so this is a beautiful coming uh, together between your nearest and dearest, an off offer of love, and you could even uh, be offered something uh, in that third quarter, uh, it could be a contract, could be an offer of 
and I don't know, it's, 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 it's an offer too good to refuse between July and September. And then we have the Three of Pentacles. You get started. You're recruited almost for your skills. Uh, you could be working with three, uh, within a team of three, working with teams to bring something to life. It's exciting. It's exciting. The second half of uh, 2023, you've got huge, huge events, huge new projects, huge new inspiration and an offer at the basis of this. Let's drill down a little bit. The King of Pentacles in that first quarter. That's uh, Virgo energy, Capricorn energy, the business, you in business. Um, King of Pentacles. What's what? Why is the King of Pentacles here? It can be Taurian Virgo or Capricorn energy, but it can be none of those either. It can be you, you being the King of Pentacles. Show me why the King of Pentacles is here. Okay, the moon want, card wants to come out, something coming to the surface, something being revealed in that first quarter. The magician card manifesting, manifesting this beautiful new start here. Oh yeah, the knight of cups comes through. You are, you are getting, uh, you are, your relationships are on a more even keel in 2023 uh, than they were in 2022. Um, I just feel you've, you've solved that puzzle. Uh, it's like a maturity and you begin to manifest in that first quarter, perhaps uh, in in matters related to work, in matters related to your financial security. And what was hidden is revealed. Yeah, and you're victorious as a result. Let's take a look at the second quarter here, the Nine of Wands. This is, you know, it's it's actually a good card. It's Sagittarius card where they've got it all figured out. They've completed the cycle and it's like it's a gift to themselves. They say, I'm not overworking. I'm not going to be, you know, run here or there. I'm I'm strong within myself. Uh, I've managed. I manage my insecurities, and I. It's you know. It's a card of self care. We have the hermit here. Reflection. Um, reflection and introspection. Perhaps you've done that deep thinking about the boundaries that you need to, you know, optimize your own health, well being, your journey in life. And we've got the Ace of Cups. Beautiful emotional reset. I said that uh, you should look at Virgo reading uh, because they got the Ace of Cups here too. Definitely an emotional reset here. Show me the Nine of Wands. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune. Now we get to the manifestation energy uh, and having to choose pathways. And we've got the King of Pentacles. There's definitely a decision to be made around money and happiness in that second quarter. It kind of makes sense because that wheel of fortune is going to um it's going to be a preview of this offer that's made in that uh third quarter yeah page of swords um insights truth clarity i don't see this as being a vulnerable year for you sagittarius i feel you're quite strong in 2023 in all areas of your life as a result of what you did in 2022. Knight of Cups. What's this Knight of Cups doing here, please? In the third quarter, we have, again, the boundaries are going to be very, very, uh, very strong. Uh, we've got some anxiety around perhaps taking on too much uh, and wanting to pause things, look at things in a different way. Uh, we've got legacies, money coming in, families, uh, we could have some competition as well. You just don't want to go down the same old pathways. Uh, and look, you got the Knight of Cups twice. You're going to accept the offer. You're going to accept the offer. It's complicated. It's a complicated offer, but you're going to accept it. So we have here the Ten of Swords. You're going to again bring forward and the Death Card. And, oh, wow, Temperance. Healing and Temperance. So um, you definitely don't want the same thing. There's reconciliation here is what I see. You're definitely wary. You don't want the same thing happening as before. Uh, if this is a work offer or uh, a contract or commitment, same thing. You don't want to put yourself under the pump, but you want moderation. 
and you're calling the shots. You've moderated to get to this Knight of Cups and you're going to be quite um, happy that the pathway has been through sensible and sane boundaries. You're going to take the offer in the third quarter. Now, what is this offer that it leads to the Three of Pentacles, working with others, bringing forward your skill sets, building something, building something. Could it be building a new home? Could it be building, I don't know, building something? You're working hard in that last quarter of the year. Show me the Three of Pentacles. And it's not just you. You're working with others. So we have here the Emperor. You're taking control. You've taken control. I think this is what this was. This was about, um, it's not my way or the highway. That's not what I'm trying to say here. Uh, but it's like you put your foot down about something and you take control of it. Knight of Pentacles, um, this is moving forward reliably, sustainably, and for the long haul. It's like whatever you do in 2023, whatever decision you make brings you a new fortunate cycle. This is Jupiter energy. It's a difficult decision, but you're able to make it. And you're able to make it on behalf of others because you've got this temperance energy. And that is what will bring you forward that victory. So at every turn in 2023, I see the fruits of the wisdom earned and learnt that you've gained in this lifetime. And uh, I think you know about it as uh, through the experiences that you've had in 2022. And it brings you forward. It brings you forward an ending of this, you know, this, this pattern that's troubled you all your life. And it brings your most secret wishes to the surface. And it allows those wishes to come true in absolute utter and beautiful clarity and truth well done Sagittarius it's not been easy right let's move to the sham healing shamanic oracle and see what are the healing messages for my Sagittarian friends what are the healing messages I think it's like you know what I'm feeling I think you set yourself up for a whole decade or more. It's just you're never going to go as low as what you did in 2022. It's onward and upward. It's that night of wands, onward and upward for you. Show me uh, the healing messages for Sagittarians in 2023. Grounding, grounding, keeping your feet on the ground. That would be that king of pentacles, balancing, inner journey, having done the inner journey. Uh, you should be, you should give yourself a bit of a pat on the back because you've really earned this ancient wisdom. As I said, you've broken the karma. You've broken the ancestral patterns. You've broken something big and you've set yourself free. And we have emotional <laughs> release. I absolutely love that. Psychic development. Whenever we release anything, we free ourselves up to experience this growth in our psychic development. Psychic development isn't just about predicting the future. It's about communing, communing with spirit in this lifetime, in this earthly lifetime, in a way that expands expands your life on this earth something major has been released you have released something major all right show me the mystic shamanic shaman oracle please messages for sagittarius the general oracle for sagittarius in 2023 for sagittarius in 2023 the curse, <laughs> what did I say? You've released something that uh, could even been from uh, past lives, but 
the con the karm- karmic contract no longer there. You've been released from it. We've got the beloved. Um, it's kind of making me almost want to cry because right throughout this um, huge cycle that you've just been on, this huge journey you've just been on, you've been protected, you've been held. You've been held by spirit. You've been held by your past over loved ones. You've been held as beloved. That's why you're victorious. The beauty way, as I said, having been through this change, breaking these huge patterns, you've you've earned this kind of vibe in 2023 that makes it all right. You can see it. You can taste it. You can glimpse it. You know what I mean as I'm talking to you right now. The hummingbird events will move quickly. The Knight of Wands. And we've got the smoky mirror. Yeah, this is the guardrails, the nine of wands. You don't want to repeat old patterns. You've looked into that smoky mirror and you are going with the flow. There's no more obstacles or not the same obstacles and any obstacles in 2023 that come your way. You're able to turn it into a flow of divine abundant energy. The ghost dance ancestors spirit are, is around you for some you're literally going to be communicating with past over loved ones as your psychic antenna heightens and develops and we have soul retrieval exactly what you did when you broke this major major karmic pattern you retrieved your soul the sacrifice the sac your sacrifices are being rewarded the serpent completion transformation if you've been wondering why (laughs) you've either seen snakes or dreamt about snakes it's about healing at the very 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 deepest part of your being and when we do that we bring and actualize this beautiful this wish and this beautiful energy of abundance into our lives so again well done well done Sagittarius you're the emperor in 2023 nobody else you are all right thanks for tuning in Sagittarius namaste have a beautiful beautiful 2023 and I hope you get something from this reading bye for now